It's Friday, fool, and you need this tool. Welcome back to the glorious episode of It's Friday, Fool! You need this tool. My name is Kyle Voss, and on Fridays, I bring you a tool. A tool that I use here in this shop, or that I've featured on this channel. Man, it has been a minute. Almost forgot how to do this. Really need to work on that. All right, so this week's tool, I don't know if it really falls into the category of you need this tool, but it's definitely noteworthy enough for me to bring it. To ya. So this week's tool is the, uh, let's see. Uh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, four foot power strip. So I know what you're thinking. You're like, four foot power strip? Who in the hell needs a four foot power strip? Well, everyone. So this particular power strip has 12 plugs on it. Been shopping for the new shop, trying to figure out how I want to do everything in the new place. And so I picked up a bunch of these. Uh, there's never enough plugs in my shop. And in the new shop, I want everything to be always plugged up. Unless it doesn't need to be, of course. But for me, like with YouTube, I've got all kinds of battery chargers for the cameras. I got all kinds of battery chargers for my drills. I got all kinds of battery chargers for the drone. You name it, I have battery chargers for it. So, in the new shop, I'm just gonna make a station that has one or two of these, everything we plugged in, I'm gonna hide all the wires, and then everything is operational. I just plug the batteries in, unplug the batteries when I don't need them. I kinda did that in this shop, but not to the degree that I'm gonna do it in the new shop. The other thing that is super awesome about these is you can actually mount them vertical. So they don't necessarily have to be horizontal, say under a bench or on you know, the back of a bench. They could actually be vertical on, you know, uh, you know, right next to your shop door. Uh, if you have some machinery, you know, this right here, you could kind of have one of these up, drill press in one, you know, angle grinder in another one, bandsaw, like you could literally have everything plugged up. This particular one here has like a 15 amp rating. Uh, which I don't ever feel like I'll exceed because I don't plan to run everything at the same time. Usually it's like you turn on something, you turn on your you turn on your drill press, you use it. Once you're done, you turn it off, you move to the next thing, you turn it on, you use it. You don't have like six of them running at the same time. One of the things I really plan on doing in the new shop is organization. From the, from the very get, I'm gonna try to organize that place to the best of my ability. I've kind of failed that in this shop. Um, I don't know if I'm running out of room or if I'm just not a very organized person. One, one of the two. Just like most of your power breakers, this has a on and off slash reset button. And it comes with like a three foot cord, which is nice. The ends have these mounts, so you can just screw these things around the wall and then they have these plastic covers that just pop right over top of them when you're You've got it done. Actually, that's not what that's for. Okay, they just got mounts. I don't understand what the plastic's for. I guess if you're not gonna use these mounts, you can keep the plastic over them. Anyway, there you go, this week's tool, the four foot metal power strip. 12 plugs. You get uh, four or 10 of these and you'll be good. As I always do, I'll drop you a link in the description of these. Go check them out. Maybe they were something you've been looking for. You just hadn't found them. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Back on the Friday videos. Gonna try to keep these things rolling. I gotta hit that 100 mark at the very least. It's Friday, fool!